got an exam question walkthrough here which deals with structure determination from titration results. So the question looks at standard solutions, percentage uncertainty, the processing of titration results to calculate the molar mass and then the using the molar mass to determine a structure for an organic acid. Please remember to give a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe so you get notifications of future content and if you want to leave a comment below um, to give me a suggestion for future topics you'd like covering then that would be great. Okay so here's the question, it's covered on four slides so I'll just click through now you pause the video, have a go at the question and then play on for the answer. Okay, so part A, what's meant by a standard solution? It's a solution of known concentration. What's meant by the term alkali? It's a soluble base which releases hydroxide or OH- ions. Part C, we've got to read these um, titration readings and complete the table and then calculate the mean titer to the nearest 0.05 cm cubed that the student should be using for analysing the results. So for titration 1, we're looking at where the meniscus is. So this initial burette reading here, the meniscus is not quite um, on that line or that line. So we should record that as 0.45. The final burette reading, you can see the meniscus is exactly on the line, so that will be reported as 27.30. So the difference between those two is 26.85, so that's your titer. Titration 2 now, so we're starting at 0 0.60. You can see the meniscus is exactly on the line. Don't forget that 0 after the 6, that's really important. And then the final bureau reading is, again, it's on the line, so it's 27.00. So the difference between those is 26.40. And then for the final titration, you can see the meniscus is not quite on the line. It's between these two, so that should be recorded as 1.25. And the final bureau reading is, again, it's not quite on the line, so that's 27.75. The difference is 26.50. So when we're choosing which titration results should be used, you'll notice that they haven't included the trial titra. These are the further titrations. Remember, the trial's never used. So we're looking for concordant results, so in other words, between 0 0.1 of each other. So therefore, titration 2 and 3 are okay, but titration 1 is no good, so we're going to ignore that. So the mean titra is obviously 26.45. So moving on to the next part of C, we've got to calculate the percentage uncertainty for the titra in titration 1. Just a reminder for you that titras are based on two burette readings, so we have to double the error. And there's a reminder of the formula to calculate percentage uncertainty. So it's the error divided by the measured amount multiplied by 100. So the doubled error goes to 0.1, divide that by the titra for titration 1, 26.85, multiplied by 100, gives 0.37, the mark scheme allowed 0.372 or even 0.4, so they were both okay as well. And then the final part of C, uh, the students realised that the solution of A hadn't been prepared correctly, how should they have made up the solution? So if we scan through the information in the box, the method, you can see that the mistake is that they've used a beaker to make up the 250 cm cubed of solution. So what they should have done is used a volumetric flask. So just say something like this, students should have used a 250 cm cubed volumetric flask instead of a beaker. So moving on to the calculation now, You'll notice I've got a diagram here for the titration setup. So solution A, once it's been made up in the 250, goes into the burette, and each titration is using 25 cm cubed of sodium hydroxide. So if we want to calculate the molar mass of A, we basically need to know the moles of A that have gone into that 250 cm cubed. Okay, so the steps in the calculation. So the first thing we can do, well, we know the concentration and volume of this sodium hydroxide. So the moles of sodium hydroxide is 0.0028. We 
we've then got this information here, one mole of A reacts with two moles of sodium hydroxide. So to get the moles of A in the titration, we half that 0.0028. So the number of moles of A in the mean titra, 27.30, we're told here, um, is 0.0014. Now what we need to do is scale up to how many moles would have been in the 250 solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide the moles in the titra by the titra. That's going to give us the moles in 1 cm cubed. And then if we multiply that by 250, that will scale it up to the volumetric flask. So that comes out at 0.0128 moles of A in the 250. We know the mass that was dissolved in there, so mass over moles gives MR. So MR of A is 118.014, probably more numbers as well after that. But we have to give it to the nearest whole number, so it's just 118. And then finally, A is an organic acid. It contains C, H and O only. And one molecule of A contains two C, O, O, H groups. That's where that ratio comes from, by the way. So, first thing I'm going to do is work out the MR of two C, O, O, H groups. That's 90. I'm now going to subtract that from the 118, the whole molecule. So that leaves 28 which is equivalent to two carbons and four hydrogens. So a possible structure for this acid looks like that. Or you could have had that.